Hello everyone, welcome to the Stock Trading Tutor channel. In this video, we'll be looking at how you can apply technical indicators into your Antwerp platform and we'll also be looking at Bollinger Bands and Money Flow Index. So, first let's get an idea about Bollinger Bands and Money Flow Index. So, in technical analysis, as you can see, we, they use technical indicators such as Bollinger Bands and Money Flow Index to give you some idea of whether the stock that you're looking at is overbought or oversold. So these both indicators use price and volume for identifying overbought and oversold conditions in an asset. It can be used to spot divergence which warn of a trend change in price while the Bollinger Bands are a type of statistical chart characterizing the prices and volatility over time of a financial instrument or commodity. So let's look at Bollinger Bands more first. So Bollinger Bands are volatility bands placed above and below a moving average. Volatility is based on the standard deviation which changes as volatility increases or decreases. The bands automatically widen when the volatility increases and contract when the volatility decreases. So there dynamic nature allows them to be used on different securities with standard settings. For signals, Bollinger Bands can be used to identify M tops and W bottoms to determine the strength of the trend. So as you can see this image example given here, this wider Bollinger Band here on the chart indicates high volatility and this narrow range shows low volatility. We'll look into this more in detail while I when I show you the chart itself. Before that, let's look at money flow index. So the money flow index is an oscillator that uses both price and volume to measure buying and selling pressure. So the MFI is also known as volume weighted RSI, that is relative strength index. So the MFI starts with the typical price for each period and the money flow is positive when the typical price rises that is the buying pressure and it is negative when the typical price declines. The ratio of positive and negative money flow is then plugged into an RSI formula to create an oscillator that moves between 0 and 100. As a momentum oscillator tied to volume, MFI is best suited to identify reversals and price extremes with a variety of signals. So, as we can see in this image example given here, this here this downward trend shows but here the money flow index is going up and down and looks like it's volatile but this price and money flow diverges so the potential bottoming action this indicates a downward trend as here and this as you can see this is again a bit and this price and money flow again here as we can see it diverges so this is a potential top so basically the money flow is positive when the typical price rises so this line here is the overbought line and this here is the oversold line when the money flow index line is close to the oversold line it indicates a uh, bearish trend and when it is close to the overbought line it indicates a bullish trend now let's look at this in ant web platform you can log into your ant web platform using your alice blue account and once you're here you can select a stock chart and as this chart loads we will apply some of the indicators, the same two indicators which we've already seen, Bollinger Band and Money Flow Index and we'll identify the overbought and oversold conditions. This is the HDFC Bank chart. Let's apply the... First we have Bollinger Band. Let's apply that. And next we'll also apply the Money Flow Index. Okay, and as we can see, these white parts here in are uh, show high volatility, and these narrow ranges show uh, low volatility. 
as of right now it's slowly in the high volatility but going to a closer narrow direction right now and as we can see there's been fluctuating volatility so For signals, Bollinger Bands can be used to identify M-tops and W-bottoms. So again, we have M-tops and W-bottoms here. Now let's look at the money flow index in this chart. So money flow index is used to measure buying and selling price. So as you can see, this has been volatile. When it is close to the overbought signal here, which is 80, this shows overbought. And when it is close to the 20 mark, it shows oversold. So here in this region, we have it crossing the oversold line. As you can see, that corresponds to this downward trend here and the market was slightly not volatile during this specific region and then it became volatile here again and this here when it's crossed this grayish region indicates the overbought line as we go back into the historical chart patterns we can see some overbought signals here you can adjust the chart and zoom in and see this in more detail so you can get an idea of how the candlestick has performed. You can even adjust the time frame. Let's look at the 15 minute candlestick chart. So the 15 minute candlestick chart shows you more buying and selling signals for the shorter time frame. And as you can see at 12 o'clock on 13th, June, we had the oversold signal and it crossed the overbought signal yesterday when the market was the afternoon market. As you can see, this is in a bearish trend and it's now heading towards a bullish. I mean, again, it's in a bearish trend. Here was the bullish trend. Now it's going on a downward spiral. So as you can see, you can use both Bollinger Band and the Money Flow Index on the charts to identify where it is um, overbought and oversold and identify buying signals. Now let's apply it even to Yes Bank. So hi, here I've already applied it to the Yes Bank charts. Let's apply it to the 15 minute chart. And as you can see here, there was highly volatile stock. So right now it's in between and there's it's not overbought or oversold when it closed yesterday but it was briefly in the oversold signal in the morning so this is a highly volatile stock and you can use other indicators along with these two to identify the buying price if you prefer that to your trading strategy Thank you for watching this video. For more videos on stock market and trading, please subscribe to this channel. If you'd like to create a free DMAT account with Alice Blue, click the link in the description and fill out your details. You'll also get intraday recommendation calls and you can learn robot trading software for free.